hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how i remove my acrylic nails by soaking them off on a pure acetone um as you guys can see i already started the process so basically what i have done i went to sally and i bought a pure acetone so it has to be pure acetone in order for you guys to remove the clutter off so i put it in in a cup that i you know we don't use at the house so i put it in the cup and then i put my hands in there and I let soak off for about five to ten minutes and then I didn't have anything to kind of push it the cleric um off so I was kind of using the brush to the end of the brush to kind of just remove all the excess and um yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing right now and the first thing that I did before I actually even put my nails to soak on. I actually cut them to my desired shape so I didn't have to waste tons of acetone. Because if you, you know, if you don't cut your nails and then you soak the nails on it and then you're going to come and cut them, you're going to waste a lot of acetone. So to prevent that, you just cut it to your desired shape, which that was my desired shape. basically as you guys can see i'm doing the same process i'm going back to putting my hands in the cup and just let it soak off for five another five minutes So here I'm repeating the same process. I'm scraping the cleric off and it becomes easier and easier as um, you kind of go soaking your hands in, scraping it off, soaking your hands in. So it becomes a much, much, much easier to take the cleric off. So what I'm using right now is a safety drill. I got it from five and below for five dollars. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just drilling it down, which that will make it easier so I don't have to soak my hands for so long. And guys, that drill was very, very, very good. Actually, all you have to do is put a battery on it and it works perfectly fine. I have the other drill, but since um, you know, I don't know, I felt more comfortable using that drill because it was safety. And for a beginner, since I am a beginner too, also when it comes to using the uh, the drill. So I thought that um, worked very well. And it's plastic also. So it's very safe to use. And you can go wrong with $5. Basically, what I'm doing over here, I'm trying to get them thick. So I'm filing basically the entire nail so I can get them very, very thick. And then I'm going to go with my file just to file a little bit and um, shape it a little bit, I would say. And then cut it because I thought that, you know, it was a little too big. But then I don't know. I just ended up leaving the way it was, I guess. <laughs> And again, I'll be repeating the same process, which is just basically soaking your nails.
and here it's what it is right now as i soak off most of the acrylic so i'm just buffing it off and i'm surprised that i didn't break any nails because usually i do end up breaking a nail or two so i was very happy and i kind of liked the way uh, my nail was looking it wasn't looking like unhealthy like when you actually try to take your nails out with your teeth because i do that i don't know if anybody can relate it to me but i sometimes you know before i was doing that so now over here i'm just gonna grab some ball with water i'm just gonna put some salt um some bath um uh, bath salt to just kind of relax my muscles you know And here I'm going to go again with the drill, just see any parts that I want to drill down a little bit. And then um, just go in and put my hands on the warm water with um, uh, with bat salt and just relax my hand for a little bit. And I'm here, I'm just kind of cleaning all the water and just looking at the nails and see if there is anything that I like to touch up. And as you guys can see, I'll go back and touch it up um, a little bit. Nothing major. Just touch up a little bit and try to make it look as good as it can possibly possibly be. And here I'm just cleaning um, the excess skin around the nails because um, I have OCD and the other one was not working. So I actually like that one better than the pink one. So I'm just going to go around the nails and just cleaning, cleaning it off.
And all I have been doing is just repeating the same pro uh, same process over and over until I achieve the desired look that I want. And all I'm doing here is just change the beads um, so I can achieve a better results. Now my left hand is done pretty much. So I'm just going to go with oil some and just put some little oil around the nails. And that's how it looks, guys. I actually love it because I didn't break any nails. So I was so happy. And yeah. And here's the final look. Uh, I did the other hand, my right hand off camera because that guy took me so long and i'm a right i'm a, I'm not a lefty i'm a um i write with my right hand so i do everything with my right hand so i was struggling trying to do anything with my left hand